Hey, welcome back to uh, Skyrim. Oh god, they can open doors. I thought they couldn't open doors. Either that, or they, either they can, or their teeth is dead. We discovered between episodes that the, that the Charas can't open doors because they lack the opposable thumbs with which to do so. so either they figured it out. But apparently they've broken the world. Or Darkeith has opened it. Um, I need this for later. So welcome back to Skyrim and the musical nerd Summer of Degath. Uh, why... <coughs> Oh, God. Uh, future Kino, call 911. <laughs> oh, God. My organs. Oh, once again, welcome back to the summer of Degaff. Why two Fs? Because we don't give a flying fuck. My organs. Um, fans on, patio doors open, random cars have been driving by while My we've been recording down. this week, and we don't care. Um, oh, Matt ate pizza in an episode of Skyward Sword. I did eat pizza in an episode of Skyward Sword. It was lovely. I killed them before they hatched. Um, okay, so, uh, and all, in, in our little, in our little, uh, Skyrim miniseries that we're doing right now while we take care of some, uh, non-sequitur stuff, um, welcome to BuzzFeed Quizzes Part 2. Yeah, I'm having fun. Where, uh, I, Kino, sit here and quiz, uh, the player, Matt, uh, with random BuzzFeed quizzes, because BuzzFeed quizzes are sometimes entertaining. And we need to keep ourselves going today because we've been recording a lot. Okay, so this quiz, Matt. Oh, I got. Oh, hold on. I gotta wipe my eyes. I'm crying after that. <laughs> I, I'm my. I like hacked up a lung. Cheer up, emo kid. Oh, I'm better. Okay. Okay. This quiz, Matt. Is it a pop punk song title, or just a random sentence? The answer is yes to both. So I'm gonna read you an assortment of words. An assortment of words. And you are going to tell me if those words are the title of a pop punk song or if it's just a random fucking sentence. Okay. Let me do that. Lying is the most fun a girl can have without taking her clothes off. That's a pop punk song, I think. That is correct. That's it. It is a Panic at the Disco song off of their album A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. Okay. And if this quiz is starting us with Panic at the Disco, it's all downhill from here. I'm interested to see what they consider pop punk. Nothing's ever good enough for you, Parans, not even you. That's a random sentence. It's a random sentence? That is correct. It's a random sentence. <laughs> this might, even if this isn't a song title, this might very well be my favorite sentence. I've got a dark alley and a bad idea that says you should shut your mouth. Pop punk song. That has to be. <laughs> Correct. It's a Fallout Boy song off of their album from Under the Cork Tree. Sounds like a Fallout Boy song. It sounds like a fucking piece of shit Fallout Boy song. You said you wanted a song about you. Well, here you go. Pop punk? Wrong. It's just a random sentence. It sounded like a whiny piece of shit pop punk title. Honestly, I'm not going to judge you for getting any of these wrong if you do. Because, honestly, most pop punk song titles are random sentences. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. That's got to be a song title. I would be upset if it's not. Mm, that is correct. It's an all-time low song off their album Dirty Work. Who? All-time low. I don't know what that is. What's really funny is I thought it was going to say... I thought it was going to be random sentence because that's actually a quote from Home Alone. Maybe uh, that's why they... That might be where they got it from, but yeah, I didn't know anybody made a song after that line. But that's a line, that's a famous line from Home Alone. Our lawyer made us change the name of this song so we wouldn't get sued. It's gotta be a fucking song title. Correct, it's a Fall Out Boy song. Of course it is. You be the anchor that keeps my feet on the ground, I'll be the wings that keep your heart in the clouds. That's a random sentence, that's too well structured for a punk song title. Wrong, it's a Mayday Parade song. Well, now, now I From their album, A Lesson in Romantics. There's a good reason these tables are numbered, honey. You just haven't thought of it yet. Song title? Correct. It's a Panic at the Disco song. You've got a lot of nerve for someone who's dead on the inside. Ouch. That's a song title. No, nah, it's just a random sentence. 
I will never write an obligatory song about being on the road and missing someone. Random sentence? Wrong. It's a Say Anything song. Of course it is. Off the reissue of Is a Real Boy. I'd be happy to hold your hand if only you were happy to hold your liquor. Song title? No, it's a random sentence. That sounds like something I'd say to somebody. I'd hate to be you when people find out what this song is about. Pop song title? Correct. It's a Mayday Parade song. You got 7 out of 12 right. Pretty good, but no harm in revisiting those CDs you burned in the early uh, uh, aughts. I don't listen to pop bunk. I don't think anybody listens to pop bunk. It's an actual good music. Oh. Shots fired! Oh, then is this quiz ever for us? Which music festival should you go to? None of them. Yeah, none of them. Absolutely none of them. We like life. I don't. I like not smelling like weed and spit. I like not getting trampled by high people or getting shot at by riot police because the drunk high people are being idiots. Oh, good lord. That happened. What music, what music festival do you belong at? Pick an artist. Calvin Harris, The Vaccines, Nicki Minaj, The Black Keys, Metronomy, Cas, uh, Casab, Casab, Casabian, something I can't fucking pronounce, uh, Flogging Molly, Bombay Bicycle Club, or Temples. Flogging Molly? Out of that, out of those choices, Flogging Molly. The least of the evils. What accessory must you have? Uh, glow stick bracelets, uh, flowered laurel, uh, uh rubber boots. A uh, bikini, a uh, a beer helmet, um, a uh, a bag that folds out into like a placemat or some stupid shit, um, an actual camera, a uh, glowing like paint, or balloons. Uh, the beer hat. The beer hat, yeah. That's about my speed. Your festival pet peeve. Everything. When your phone dies, bad weather, going without a shower, crowds. The fact that I'm at a festival. Crowds, the toilets, litter, bouncing beach balls, couples, or drink prices. Crowds, I guess? Yeah, I'd say, yeah, the crowds of sweaty, smelly people. Pick a song. Fleetwood Mac's Landslide, Kanye West's Power, Bell and Sebastian's Party Line, George Ezra's Barcelona, Alabama Shakes's Miss You, Streetlight Manifesto's Toe to Toe, Drake's Worst Behavior, St. Vincent's Digital Witness, Passengers the wrong direction. Landslide. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's, the same that's thing. The actually, that's the only actual real song. I thought the other ones were trick questions. Um, what's your drink? Some douchebag craft IPA and a fancy fuck-ass prick mug? Um, some bottle of German shit beer I can't pronounce? Uh, Jägermeister, Champagne, Jim Beam, some stupid fucking canned lemonade cocktail piece of shit drink? Uh... Sour apple mix, red wine, or uh, like a fucking basket full of fucking more like um, craft shit, hipster, expensive, go fuck yourself beers. Virgin gin and coke? Okay, go bourbon? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'd pick. Although I would put the bourbon in it. Pick an Instagram filter. None of them? Reyes, Lark, Amaro, X-Pro2, Willow, Early Bird. I don't know what the fucking things are. Which one of these pictures looks best to you? None of them? <laughs> Lark? Because it's the one that looks the least fucking altered? Yeah. You should go to the Boomtown Fair. For you, festivals are about the spectacle. You can go to a gig any old time, but attending a festival is about escape. To head into another world for a few days, Boomtown Fair is your thing, with its seven differently themed areas and eclectic lineup. Dude. That was a weird quiz. Dude, this Falmer got... This, this Charles got fucked up. Between your dislike of crowded places and my dislike of sweaty, drunk, high fucking hipster pieces of shit, that was a weird quiz. What? Future Kino, put that one disclaimer from that episode of Assassin's Creed back up where... Oh my lord! Where Kino's views on stupid fucking idiot hipsters don't necessarily reflect the views of the other people yeah, on the do. channels... He's just in, like, a dirty fucking just hippie t-shirt 
wearing fucking almost form-fitting capris with his dirty, unwashed hair in one of those stupid fucking man buns with like a canvas fucking brown backpack thing. And I just wanted to kick him in the throat. Like, I had an urge to physically cause him harm. I really wanted so, to do it. Maybe you, but maybe not Mick, and definitely not Alps. Alps, Alps likes all that fucking IPA Is that why you haven't introduced me to her yet? Because I'll murder her? Probably. I would love to see you two do a series together. So I would literally murder her? Um, let's see... <laughs> Which Captain Planet Planetary are you? I was looking at the one above that. We'll have to do that one next. Okay, which Captain Planet Planetary are you? Pick one of these seedlings. There's one that somebody's holding in the rain, one that somebody's got a bunch of leaves on uh, in the dirt. Top right? The, the little one in the ice cube tray looking thing? Yeah. Pick a renewable energy. Biomass, hydro, geothermal, wind, solar, or tide? Wind. Pick a word. Fight, win, cooperate, try, lose, or suffer. Fight. Pick, Pick a sport. This is a great question for us. Soccer, football, even though they're the same thing? Okay. European football, American football, basketball, swimming, track and field, or baseball? Baseball. How would your friends describe you? Strong, powerful, lovely, cold, talkative, or friendly? Cold. You got Wheeler, fire. I am upset. I wanted you to get Mati. I'm upset that I got Wheeler. You're Wheeler, you're an extreme, extremely loyal friend and a lot of people depend on you. No. Sometimes you like to be the first to do things no. and this can get you into trouble when you act without thinking. Sometimes. Is my quest even anymore? Um, let's see. I'm trying to find that one that we were looking at. Are you more Seinfeld or Friends? That one would be good. Pizza, with or without toppings? With. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Disney or Looney Tunes? Mm, Disney. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Yep. Are cinnamon raisin bagels ever acceptable? Yeah. Coffee, hot or iced? Uh, hot. Amy Poehler or Tina Fey? Amy Poehler. Chinese food or Indian food? Chinese food. How sarcastic are you? Very. Oh. Your choices are, oh, I'm not sarcastic at all, or could I be more sarcastic? Could I be more sarcastic? You got friends. You're generally warm and friendly, but have a snide, sarcastic side. You tend to be more extroverted than introverted, <laughs> and have a strong attachment to your close friends and family. I like that something even on the internet just called you extroverted. I don't know, right? It's a lie. Dirty lie. Let's see. What's your Game of Thrones porn star name? Hopefully you don't get spoiled. When was this one? This one shouldn't have any spoilers. Okay. It's just random questions like, pick a sexy song to get you in the mood. Uh, you Can Leave Your Hat On by Joe Cocker. Love Me Like You Do by Illy Golding. Drunk in Love by Bay and Jay. Uh, Cientello by Speedy. Uh, Freak by George Michael. Uh, the Thong Song. Uh, she Wants to Move by Nerd. First Position by Kalani. If You See Kami by Britney Spears, or Kisses Down Low by Kelly Rowland. Uh, if you see Gamey. If you see Gamey. I had a feeling it was either going to be that or a song song. Damn right. 
Uh, where would you like to live? Uh, Meereen, Winterfell, King's Landing, Dragonstone, The Wall, Beyond the Wall, Bravos, Volantis, the Dothraki Sea, or the Eyrie? Uh, the Eyrie? Who would you bang? Jon Snow. Daenerys Targaryen. Jon Snow. Khal Drogo. Jon Snow. Rob Stark. Oh. Talissa Mager. Jon Snow. Oberyn Martell. Jon Snow. Cersei Lannister. Jon Snow. Miranda. Jon Snow. Loras Tyrell. Jon Snow. Sansa Stark. Jon Snow. Or Jaime Lannister. Jon Snow. But Jon Snow Rob was Stark, I guess. He's the closest I'll get. Not Daenerys. Rob Stark. I would bang Daenerys. Um. <laughs> oh, we're gonna learn something about you. Um. Uh, oh well, let's 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 uh let's look at the choices. You're gonna learn some things. Do you watch porn? Every single day, I watch it with my partner. Porn is disgusting. Once a month. Once a week, once a year, I've never watched porn. I watch porn once and never again. Actually, I'm watching porn right now. I'm a porn star, so... I feel uncomfortable answering this question. Come on, man. I feel uncomfortable answering this question. Let it all out, bro. Let it all out. It's the first one. Okay. (laughs) Pick your favorite position. Doggy style, the lotus, side doggy, the wheelbarrow, the squat, oral 69, reverse cowgirl, missionary, or you can't choose. 69. (laughs) <laughs> Are you horny right now? The choices. Should I be? Absolutely. Nope. Well, now that you're asking, I'm always horny. I don't know. That's private. Ew! Is this question really important? Or LOL? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Nope. I don't know. The, Should- the answer, I don't know. Oh, okay. I can never tell. What GOT house do you belong in? House Baratheon, uh, House Stark, House Lannister, House Martell, Bolton, Targaryen, uh, Baelish, Mormont. Uh, and these two, I can't remember by their... Uh, that bottom one's Greyjoy. I don't remember that top one, or the one above that. Uh, my favorite is uh, Targaryen, so Targaryen. You're <laughs> Matt's Game of Thrones porn star name is Jamie Goldencock. Ne- that is your Game of Thrones porn star name. Hey, we're gonna go talk to Rex. Darn right it is. Uh, let's see. Can we guess your age by your gaming experience? That's gonna be an interesting one. Okay, can we guess your age by your gaming experience? Pick one. An arcade joystick, an Xbox controller, a keyboard, a Wii controller, an N64 controller, or an iPad? Uh, N64 controller. Pick another. Um, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Kart 8, Super Mario Kart on the SNES, Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart Wii, or Mario Kart 64? Uh, Double Dash. How many Pokemon versions have you played? Every, Every single, single one. one. Literally all of them. Yes, you have. What is the last game you played? Candy Crush, GTA 5, Minecraft, LOL, Destiny, or Clash of Clans? From that list? From GTA that list, 5. GTA 5. How does the three ring make you feel? Annoyed. Furious, frustrated, confused, indifferent, like I want to blow the dust out of it, or LMAO? Uh, frustrated? Okay. What was the first console you owned? Uh, Genesis, N64, Atari, that looks like a 2600, uh, PS1, SNES, or Wii? GameCube's not on there. Yeah, that's stupid. The actual first one I owned isn't on there. Neither is the second one I owned. Well, PlayStation was in the same generation. If no, you want to get wasn't. really technical, the N64. For out, of the, out of the things on that list, the N64. Yeah. There isn't even anything from the same generation as the GameCube on here. Because that would be PS2 or Xbox. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we, we did it. 
We got the crown? We got Proud of Prophet. We did it's it! It's not on here, but we have it. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Crunch is done. We have Proud of Prophet now. Yay. Yay! Yay. Who is this? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's long. I have to, I have to put this on the screen, considering we're doing a fucking series with, with him. Who is this? It's NARP. It's long. For there's, there's no option for NARP. It's length. And what is this? Uh, Ooh. let me get a picture of this too. Uh. I know the answer to that. I think I know the answer to that. What is that? It's a night elf. That is a night elf. And lastly, Pong. It's a picture of Pong. I'm not even gonna fucking put it on the screen. You got 25 again. Based on your wordage in the last episode and your gaming answers in this episode, the internet really thinks you're 25. Okay, so in the off time when I was doing this down, I got the letter from Falk. So we're gonna do the second chunk of Palutena. Oh yeah. You mean Potema? Potema. Palutena is the queen. From Kid Icarus. And I believe they want us to go talk to Falk. Um, let's see. I don't know what they want me to do. Which iconic sitcom dad are you? Uh -huh. Yeah, I need to go see Falk. Choose a tie. A plain maroon tie. Mm -hmm. A tie, a black tie that has like a picture of like a cowboy uh, bolo thing on it. Um, a black necktie. A crazy paisley necktie. A necktie with a picture of iP uh, iPod earbuds on it. Or like a blue cloudy multi tone tie. Uh, the maroon tie. What is your beer of choice? Budweiser, Corona, PBR, Coors Light, High Life, or Fat Tire? Sure. You pick. I don't know. Pick one for me. I don't know. Um. I literally have no idea. Be a Coors Light kind of guy. Pick a dad mobile. Oh, that bus. The the school bus? Yeah. You could get fucking uh, Cranston. Uh. Pick a pet, a turtle, a little dog, a little ugly dog, a big cute dog, a goldfish, a house plant, or an angry looking cat. Yeah, big cute dog. The golden retriever? Yeah. What is your favorite sport? sport Tennis, ball. basketball, hockey, golf, little league, or football? Sport ball. Hockey, I guess? No. Choose your throne. It's an assortment of armchairs that look different. Uh, the blue one, bottom middle. Because it's actually got the footrest? Yeah, and I'm, yeah, I dig me some footrest. How would your friends describe you? Outspoken, funny, selfless, successful, kind, or protective? None of those things. Funny? Funny's uh, the I closest. Guess. Cynical douche. Who were you in a past life? Uh, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Thomas Jefferson, Paul Bunyan, Charlie Chaplin, Julius Caesar, or Johnny Appleseed? I think that was Johnny Appleseed. Oh, the Lord is good to me. You would be... And so I thank the Lord. You would be Danny Tanner. Forgiving from me full house. the things I need. The sun and rain and apple seed. Oh, the Lord How you manage to juggle all the things in your life remains a mystery. Keep up the good work. You get by with a lot of help from your friends who care about your kids as if they were their own. You are invested in the lives of all those around you and are the ultimate caretaker. Oh, you Bob Saget. Man, I'm Bob Saget. You're Bob Saget. That means that you're filthy when you're outside of the house. Yeah. Mix wearing a hat. Yes. Mix leaving the house. Yes. Bye, Mick. On a walk. Mick's gonna walk. <laughs> What's the time, heck? Oh, we got time for one more quiz at least. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Give me things I need. Send me a message. Um, Yeah. 
All right, he's done us a service in the things of a boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, actual quest. We're gonna go talk to Steer. Yay! Then learn about Potemo. There are a lot of what is your insert random show porn star name. There are. Hi. Which country music man is your soulmate? Yes, country butts drive you nuts. They do. Um, I think the tractors are sexy. Okay. Let's find out which country music man is Matt's soulmate. What's an ideal first date? Dinner, getting coffee, watching Netflix, a picnic, drinks, or attending a concert? I like Netflix. Choose an American Disney character. Nani, Mr. Incredible, Pocahontas, Woody, Boo, or James? Nani. What's an underrated country music genre? Classic country, western swing, country rap, Texas country, outlaw country, or red dirt? Classic country. Pick a female country superstar. Carrie Underwood, Reba, Kelly Pickler, Martina McBride, Miranda Lambert and her big square fucking head, or Leanne Womack. Fucking Womack. break a wall down with that shit. <laughs> Reba. How'd you get up with a picture of Miranda Lambert's big square face? Uh, Reba. <laughs> Put a picture of Miranda Lambert's big square face next to a picture of one of the blockheads from the old Gumby show. that out of my system choose a regional saying bless your heart nervous as a long tail cat in a room full of rocking chairs break bad happy as a dead pig in a sunshine busy as a cat on a hot tin roof or hold your horses hold your horses <laughs> hold your horses what article of clothing looks best on a man good boots a pearl snap a nice cowboy hat Tight jeans, a well-worn baseball cap, or a fitted tee? Good boots. Do you prefer city men or country studs? Country studs? <laughs> your country's... Your, <laughs> your country music man soulmate is George Strait. I'll take it. You are, you are royalty and deserve a king. You're a, a cut troubadour. above the rest and only deserve the best. What better man than the king of country himself? Damn right. You know, he, he'll cross his heart and promise to give all the love he's got to give to make all your dreams come true. You know, true. all his exes live in Texas. That's why he hangs his hat in Tennessee. <laughs> oh, Jiminy, fuck. Maybe we'll do another part of this. Maybe we won't. I don't know yet. Maybe. I'm still thinking on it. We can find some good ones. Right. We need to find some more. We've like, I've exhausted, there's a lot of quizzes on here, but I'm like, I'm running low on like good ones for us that are relevant to us. Still want to know which Disney princess I am. Oh my God. Next time I will find a quiz to find out which Disney princess uh, Matt is. Um... I need to know. I know you do. There's an actual Disney website. Hey, hey, hey. Link. You want to blow your fucking mind? You want to blow your fucking mind right now? What? King Triton had seven daughters for the seven seas. Okay, so there's an Oh My Disney quiz. We'll do the next episode. Dude, I just explode your fucking brain. I already knew that. Where the fuck? Do that. Do that. Because I knew that. Knew that. Iggy Next eggs. time, I'll find out where the fuck. What? Next time, like, comment, subscribe, and stay nerdy.